how to connect your freenom domain like this one to your shopify store that's exactly what i will show you in this video so let's head over to shopify first of all and then we're gonna have to click down here in the bottom left corner on settings and then we're gonna have to find um, domains right here click on that and then we're gonna have to click on connect existing domain now we're gonna have to type in our domain so i'm just gonna head over to freenom in order to copy my domain right here so copy that and then i'm just gonna paste it over here and then click on next and then i'm gonna have to uh, connect the domain so we have to cat head over to freenom again and then on our domain we have to click on manage domain right here and then we're gonna have to click on manage freenom dns and hopefully it's gonna load it sometimes doesn't quite work too well for freenom but it's looking actually good okay and so then right here make sure the type is uh, selected as a like it is right now then for the name you don't have to enter anything and then for the target you enter 23.227.38.65 like so and then click on more records right here and then we're gonna have to choose the type c name this time and for the name we have to enter www like so the ttl can stay the same and then for the target we have to enter shops dot my shopify dot com like so and then we're gonna have to click on save changes right here okay so that took a little while but as you can see it says record added successfully right here so now we can go back and we can go back to shopify actually right here and then uh, click on verify connection on this button right here and now it might not immediately work as you can see but you just have to wait like a couple minutes uh, or a couple hours depending on how long uh, freenom takes to update the actual records so yeah you're just gonna have to try this again um, a little later all right i've just hit the uh, verify button once again and as you can see it's now been added to my uh, store and when i now head over to that domain well, I do land on the password protection page since I've still uh, have the, uh, the password protection enabled. But yeah, as you can see, it does work now.